on Linux machines, sometimes users can do bad things. So one of these bad things is creating a fork bomb. A fork bomb is basically a program that will explode and use up all your resources. So when a fork happens, written in C or C++ or some other language, what happens is the program that is running splits into two different copies, a parent copy and a child copy. A fork bomb, the idea is you have the parent copy and the child copy both continuously fork until all of your resources are gone. So we're going to have two tabs here for Eve. One tab, we're going to run the top command, which will tell us our resources, what's going on. You can see that um, the system is mostly idle, 95% idle. You know, 82, 93, 90. so it's, it's fairly idle. All right, so Eve decides she wants to write a fork bomb and take down the system. And let's say this is a multi-user system and other people are logged in and she's logged in, logged in remotely. So you look at the man command, use man and look at fork. Each version of fork has certain libraries that are required. And it's not the same for every version. So just get used to it. Just make sure you know which one to use. And then we want to create our program. So we'll do nano fork bomb dot C. And we will paste in this thing right here. And we'll go ahead and add a few extra libraries because we like to. stdio.h. And then we'll make our program. So int main. And we don't really need to pass anything because it doesn't matter. Return zero. And then what we do here is we write fork. We could have variable there that we can use to figure out which user it was. We don't really care. Um, let's also have a print statement so we can just figure out what's going on. Print. And just print a dot. That's it. Uh, print F. Okay. So this is all we do. We just fork, print a single dot, and then return. This is not a fork bomb yet, but let's go ahead and compile this just so we can see what happens. So I do GCC minus or GCC fork bomb minus O fork bomb. It compiles, and then I run it fork bomb. You can see it prints out two dots, one for each of them. So I go back into the fork bomb, and now I change, change this. And right here, I do while one. So basically, infinite loop. I go in here, I do this a little more because I like to invent things a bit. And then close it. So now we have a fork bomb where it will run infinitely, just fork and print, and then go around and fork again. I recompile this one, and then I run the fork bomb. And it doesn't seem to be printing anything. I look over here, and my system idle process is kind of dropping. Um, it's eating up resources. Because Eve is running as a non-root user, she is being limited on the amount of processing power she's allowed to have. But you can see that there's multiple copies of Fork Bomb running. There's this one right here. And other ones are sitting there eating up resources as well. If she goes back over here and decides to kill the Fork Bomb process, she can try doing it. She press Control C, and eventually it dies. Sometimes uh, you cannot kill it. It eats up all your processor. It depends on how your system is set up, whether it allows regular users to eat up the entire system or not. But you can take out a machine and eat up all the resources very quickly that way. And this is a fork bomb.